In this video, I do live product research on Black Friday sales to show you exactly how to consistently and predictably find tons of winning products to sell on Amazon during Black Friday for Amazon Online Arbitrage. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles. I'm a 25-year-old seven-figure Amazon seller living here in Miami on a mission on my channel to help as many of you guys as possible smash past your Amazon seller goals. Let's get right into the video. Sweet. All right, let's get it. So uh, we're going to start off. We're going to take a look at famous footwear right here. For this video, I have a list of like 10 different websites. We're going to manual source, um, a lot of which are uh, really profitable and such. All of these websites you're going to see I've bought and made thousands in profit on as well. So these are all suppliers that I've had. Um, success with and then if you want a full list breaking down a lot of the different uh, my favorite sales 50 favorite top sales the fba roadmaps linked um in the description as well it's a hundred dollars off this weekend only um right there so you can check that out if you're interested but we can see uh, famous has got to buy one get one half off right here uh in store and online so we'll take out take a look at the men's right here and uh let's see what we got so we got uh men's shoes it's looked like can we just do like in general <clears throat> general types of items here let's see black friday but ooh, i like this up to 30 percent off nike Thank you for the whole family. <laughs> and we have uh, buy one fifty percent off here. Ah, oh, okay. First pair. So we got some exclusions here. Okay, so let's actually take a look at only the stuff that the Bogo actually works on. I guess we'll start out in shoes. Take a look at some other stuff too. But I guess it is famous footwear, so I don't really think they have clothing like that. So let's see. Okay, so we got three thousand items right here, and then let's see. So let's uh, let's fill it around. Let's take a look at Nike stuff. Get some layups here. Let's get some momentum built. You ever bought off famous footwear, Garrett? Oh, big time for back. Yeah, I remember. Year. Yeah. yeah, Black Friday two years ago. I know. I, oh, okay, cool. All right, so that's only uh, only like 180 items here. So let's see what what stuff. So some of the stuff, like I know for a fact, these you get from other suppliers too. Um, but let's see. Okay, give me all right. Impact four. Let's take a look at those. Right. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm scrolling through. We're thinking, what could we see selling for double or more on Amazon? Men's core legacies. I found those profitable. Um, elsewhere too. Let's see. Okay, they're excluding a lot of stuff here, which I don't love. Um, but let's see. The nice thing is either way, we're seeing we got the grandpa shoes right there. We're seeing SKUs that are good um, elsewhere too. But so yeah, they're, they're uh, excluding a lot. Promo code excluded right there. Okay, cool. So they got a lot of the stuff excluded, unfortunately. So we're probably going to uh, – all right, so let's veto famous footwear right here. Let's take a look at uh, – let's start out our friends over at WSS right here. And the nice thing is we can see we get another 10% off right here. And I saw on uh, Capital One Shopping – that there's actually a 15% off. So we can check if that works. Um, if it's on here, probably does. But either way, we know we're getting another 10 or 15% off um, right here. So let's see. Let's start out in sales section right here. Let's go buy brand. Let's start out Nike here. <clears throat> look at like some beauty stuff too, though. Okay, let's see. All right, so. And he says this shit works. Of course it does. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so let's see. Who is that? Andy, 61265. Cool. Hey, right. Ben, you guys are the goats. I purchased a product that had been broken, sales rank, disappeared, and it sold. That. We don't make this stuff up, people. Okay, good work. Yeah, good work. Good work. Hell yeah. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm taking a look at all these items and we're thinking, okay, what can we see selling for double or more on Amazon after that additional discount, right? So we know we're getting at least another 10% off, um, although I do think this 15% is going to work too um, right here. So, right, we can see. I don't really think these could go. This t-shirt looks great at 15 plus 15 off um, right there. And then so we'll, let's, let's take a look at some of this other stuff. Are these belts possibly um, right here? This... Uh, uh, some of those look a little expensive. Especially for youth, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, right here. Oh, these look great. Though. I feel like low-key, some of those like baby onesies go for like 35 on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot of good RA with that too. Men's, ooh, if they got extra small here, these, these become good too. Um, I could see this doing well here. 45, yeah, something like that. Let's see. Sportswear that looks a little expensive for that. Um, ooh, okay, these are cheap too. Like 24 bucks for these looks potentially nice right here. So yeah. So let's take a look right here. So, right, what I like to do with manual sourcing is just start out and batch up a bunch of listings that I think can be good, and then just try to get in a rhythm of just uh, taking a look at these guys right here. So let's see, black, white. Let's see what we got. Okay, all right, I'm, we're looking very bullish here. Um, so this, we have, yeah, so we got five to six and a half right here. Uh, like the lines right there. Oh, it does. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So let's see right there. Yeah, so it's got the lines. It's got like the different material, right? And then it gets some different material as well. Right there. Cool. Ah, I think those are different though. Let's try image searching you, see if we can find a match here though. We'd have to do a little bit more. Occasionally it can be difficult to figure out if it's the right thing. Um, I don't think those are the right thing though. Let's see, victory one shower slide. So we got seven, eight, nine here. And then yes, yeah, as, as we go through here, guys, if you guys got any questions, you know, please let us know. Um, we're happy to help. Okay, so let's see. Okay, size seven, 34, eight. So they got seven, eight, nine here. We can see. 
Um, these aren't actually profitable on the website. Um, we're paying like 21 ish right here. So these are actually pretty <laughs> close, like break even at like that 37 right there. However, I can see that these other sizes are really, really good. They're just currently out of stock. Um, the cool thing is we can actually click into these on Amazon, see them live here with none available. Right. So we can see if we refresh this, take a look at the Kiva, we're probably gonna be able to find this elsewhere. You ever sold these? I know victory ones we saw all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. A couple of those. Not, I mean, not heavy. Maybe. Really? What was the, like the JDI ones, I think. Oh, but honestly, yeah, oh my yeah, god. Those used to pump back in the day. If you find some clothes that are out of stock, is there anything you have to do differently when you list them? So you have to find the ASIN, right? It's, that's first and foremost. So a couple of ways you can go about it. First and foremost, you can take the parent ASIN, plug it in to add a product from catalog, like the Seller Central. Uh, that'll bring up all the variations that exist in the catalog. And you'll just kind of have to sift through, sort through to find the one that you're looking for, right? There's going to be all the out of stock ones um that you're looking for the problem oh. is though if it doesn't exist in the catalog it's it's pretty difficult to actually get it added so that's the one thing that you want to have to audit all right and oh yeah starting off okay w's guys first w of the day here ladies and gents let's get to it 25 bucks 25 bucks make sure these are in stock and ooh, okay so they're seldom in stock we do have a 12 here um let's see they got size 12 here 61 bang first winner of the day here ladies and gents uh, and we got a whole bunch of sizes that are out of stock too we can see 62 Right, buy cost is 25. Now, cool thing is, we can see uh, we got these in stock here, right? And this is uh, 25 bucks, 24.99, right? And so we can see about $20 profit, 80% ROI. Uh, we know that this guy moves because it's a common color on a good ranked listing, 72 KBSR, um, right here. And then we can see we have a lot of history of profitability up here too, and that we're fine even at 50, right? And this is the kind of thing, this kind of lead where you know you're gonna hop on this FDM within three to five days, say you found an item like this right and that's pretty nice right that's on a little bit of an increase but even at 50 that's completely fine right there 50 right there and then we're talking about fbm too i have sales stocks factor in here as well this guy weighs yeah 15 ounces so it's going to ship for like six bucks you spend 25 get nine back or 10 bucks profit back life ain't bad right and uh that's cool that makes sense i i, I miss anything on that gear it's a common color that would make sense mm -hmm. that would be well. let's see let's see if these guys are good too because this is potentially white black right here oh yeah these are good too same item different website 10 percent cashbacks popping too man 26 right here look at that size 11 pumping 84 size 10 63 gotta love it right that's it out of the 10s out of stock though right um so let's see right 12 13 61 yes yeah, so that's a oh yeah so that's a good example of buying the same item from multiple different websites we'd see a size 12 ones in stock on shields that was good a size 13 in stock on nike.com that was good um, right there, so 26, right there. So life ain't bad, man, right? And you got to love it. We'll fresh just take a look at the Keep It chart as well. But that is a, that's why I love selling big brands like this. Yeah, look at that. We have a whole month straight of profitability here. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we can take out that new price. We can see sometimes where there's no buy box. That's fine with me, man. <laughs> 26 bucks, make 17, life ain't bad. Do you, do you target specific shoe sizes? I see 12 and a half are generally more profitable. Yeah, so kind of like the happy medium is is where the rank, the the relative velocity to that size or color is still going well, but also doesn't really have as much competition as some of the higher velocity ones, right? So you can kind of see as we sift down here how the competition is going to vary, right? A lot of times that heavy, the hero variation has the most velocity, but also the most competition. So you're looking for that sort of perfect combination of good velocity going to a variation, but also good competition to withstand um, uh, enough PR for you to additionally go onto that listing. Look at how far all these guys delivery dates are. I guess this guy's fine right here, November 29th, but other yeah, than that, a couple days, yeah. Far out delivery dates, yeah. Let's see, I bet you these are good, honestly. And this is a different listing for that same product, um, looking at the picture. Let's see. How, do we, how do you find the parent ASIN? So yeah, if you go into Keepa, you go to data details, that's gonna be on that left column. Um, all right, let's see. I think we got a W here. Size 11 in stock. Ah, damn, out of stock. Okay. Because these guys got buy one, get one 50% off. Are any of these guys in stock? Damn, so this would be good. This is just currently out of stock. Oh, I guess size 9 is in stock. Let's see, size should 9. should be the key PF filters to find the best performing items in brand direct website. So there's a couple ways to go about it. You can look for increasing demand, right? That's going to be on that top row all the way to the right. That's going to be like change percentage, right? If you want to look for 
ASINs within a brand that are going up in demand maybe over the past 30 days, 50%, something like that. You can do that. Obviously, you can sort overall sales rank currently or past 30 days, past 90 days, right? So you can look at the past, look at only products within a brand that's in the top maybe 50,000 of a specific sales rank category. You can do that. You can look for a specific price point. You look for a specific competition level. Uh, you can look for increasing price, decreasing price. There's a lot of stuff that you can be looking for. Yep. Check this out, guys. So here we go. We got to buy one, go in 50% off and that stacks with 20 off 99. So in this case, you would do is just do small orders here. So let's check this out. So say we got these here. So we want the card above a hundred bucks, right? Pre-discount, right? So we go here, 30 times four, take off that 0.75. That's the buy one, go in 50% off. We could do math and sell ramp here. Boom. And then we want to take off 20 from that, divide by four, printer printer and you guys saw that was two coupons that went into that that i just found from looking at the website uh the home page right and um there were actually a couple of those sizes that were out of stock that would have been good too right there so that's absolutely a winner and we found that just from looking at this listing not finding this one good finding this one close um but then digging in and taking a look at the others right there which is pretty fire miles you can answer this hey miles if i purchase the roadmap lower level in six months from now i'm ready to do the top tier do i just pay the difference Yes. Yes, absolutely, man. Yeah. So the last thing we want now, there's no guarantee it'll be the same price. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're absolutely more than welcome to do that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. 25 bucks. Um, indie. Yeah, here we go. You can see that's the same thing right there. Uh, maybe not. It looks like it. Maybe. Yeah. That, oh, uh, yeah, it's different. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Different. yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can try his image searching this too though. Uh, you guys are gonna be live on Cyber Monday too, every day, oh, baby. Oh yeah, pretty much every day from now until Christmas. Yeah, I need everyone locked in, FDMing to the moon. Like I need it. I need it badly. So you guys can't let me down, right? You whatever questions you guys got, you let us know. Bring it out. Would you guys suggest focusing more on OA versus outlets if I'm an hour away? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, because you can find a whole lot. So it take it like an hour to the outlets, a couple hours there, hour back. You can find probably two so, so much more if you're just locking at your computer for that entire time span. You don't have to pay yeah. for gas. You don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about the potential of going to the outlets and not really finding the stock that you want. Um, I would say OA is, is the game for you. Yeah, and OA is what's delegatable too, right? You can't yeah. delegate. Mm -hmm. Or RA is harder to delegate, right? Um, okay, if they got the black ones, these are going to be well. Uh, oh, black one's more expensive though. The reds, so we found these in another video, but the reds are, are hella profitable right here. Andy was so pumped to get the roadmap, he bought it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few people have done that box. Obviously, we, we refund them, but let's see. Yeah, 33, 35 bucks, 16 buy costs, nice and FBMable right here. We go down to the FBM calculator on selling 40% ROI. That's a money printer. Um, however, though, they have this. Oh, okay, here we go. This uh this gray extra small is gonna be good here. Oh, big time. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so it's about uh 26 bucks into 47. Um, FBM, that should work. I drove an hour to an Ollie's and regretted the hour drive. Yeah, you can find. Well, you learn, though. You yeah, want. you learn. But yeah, yeah, you know, print that, print that FBM off. Okay, that's actually not quite good. Ooh, there's a lot of history of it being good there. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that's going to have a shot if it gets back. Yeah, there's a very thin floor to get back above 50. I'd probably put this on a watch list or so, but that's not quite good there. The SOP is low, fire up the computer, either buy box bandits in the audio or, or big booty or, mix. Big booty mix 14. Yeah. Right. Or 20, maybe 15, depending on how you're feeling. And just get to it. Just get to it. Yeah. Like seriously, like, especially if you got, if you guys are in here on a Saturday night or you're just watching this replay, like you clearly care about this stuff. Like we're here to help the name of the game here. The next 45 days is quality listings, FBM, sell through, replenish, sell through, replenish, find new agents, find new rabbit holes, find new opportunities, find new coupons, right? And you can clean up on this stuff. And then, right. Once you you gotta get on, start getting on Zoom calls while while you source yeah, with the boys, right? Yeah. You can do, divide Very and cool. conquer. Maybe split up brands, split up sites, split up storefronts, and kind of go from there. That. Oh, here we go. Here, here's some here's some wealth. Oh, 34, five dollar. Let's get it. Forty bucks, forty bucks, forty bucks, forty bucks, forty bucks. We got Dixon. Pickle Rick, Pickle Rick knows. He knows. He knows the strat. The mixes are so key. It just improves profitability as you're sourcing. That's true. It's it's the same thing with posting videos on Twitter and FBM buy box here. There's just a few constants in the world, and that's one of them. Please tell me they have a size five here. Ah, damn man, that sucks. Um, these are out of stock. Fifteen. Damn. Okay, six. Two point oh kids. Some of these are gonna work though. 36, 15, two infant. Aha, right here. Boom. Yeah, 15 bucks. 
35 bang you guys thought i wasn't gonna find some profit there of course i did <laughs> 35 15 12 boom little 10 dollar profit right there life's good you may even see toddler nike toddler cow slides infant toddler 2k right there two infant right cool cool sweet all right gotta love it right there Cool, cool. Okay, Kawa slides. 21's a little expensive on those, but you just pick out stuff you think might be good. Like, for example, okay, we already looked these up. We already found these profitable elsewhere. All right, let's check these out. Single web belt. Okay, three and one. Interesting. Okay, so we got some, we got, well, there's reviews on these listings. So people are buying these. I have no idea if they'll be profitable, but people are clearly buying them. Let's see. Spend uh, good Lego retailers. Um, I, I would try lego.com. Yeah, Lego.com, Kohl's, Target. Um, the problem is uh, Lego's carried a lot by Amazon themselves, so you kind of got to compete with Amazon and third-party sellers, which is typically harder to do. Okay, this trucker hat. Oh, these are lit. Look at the review count here. Remember remember buying these at Marshalls back in the day? Oh, the, the oh, Legacy. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, time. yeah. Like, yeah. Look at all these listings that are popping those up. In the, uh, those in the Legacy guys, right? The, the gray ones or the white ones right there. Yeah, like black. It's Black Friday. Like there, there's gonna be some of these are gonna be good, man. Let, let's get to it on these hats. Oh, look at this wealth being printed. Boom! Look at that competition shooting down, price shooting up for the boys. Let's see, what we got. And then that's as good of a keep a graph as you'll see in terms of like the kind of relationship between offer count and price point, right? That's nice. as explicit as that relationship gets. Twenty bucks out of stock. Let's see, we got these anywhere here. Spend two k Cole's cash in store on replanned items. That's what's up. Oh, Corey's been around for a while. He knows what's up. Yeah, yeah, Corey. Yeah, Corey. Corey's one of my guys. Yeah, Jordan hat. Damn, I thought I found these on WSS before. I might be wilding them. Keep a product finder for profitable Legos is the move, correct? Uh, yeah, kind of. How I mean, you're gonna have uh, to find like that. Yeah, Amazon out of stock. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to find the holes in sort of like the Amazon being in stock and like the competition level being low. The problem is the Legos get retired in a way that other items don't. So a Lego's lifespan at a retail store is way shorter than that of most items. So you'd probably only want to look for listings that have been around for less than the past two years, um, or like two years, or, two years or less, right? Because you're otherwise you're gonna end up searching for items that aren't in retailers anymore. Which is honestly, you'd probably be better off storefront stalking, honestly, for that. And then looking at the listing age, 15. Okay, there's not. <clears throat> Nick's keeps canceling my orders. A couple things, right? First, PayPal, right? Obviously, uh, you can use Dick's gift cards. Uh, reach out to customer service, customer support, see what they can do, uh, an offer of, of assistance, suggestions to keep kind of get those flowing for you, or just have customer support uh, place the orders for you, right? So there's a really four different options that you have. Uh, moving forward to get those orders through. Yeah, this guy's damn close. Um, it's not good. Well, that's though. as that's... steady as possible. Though. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's probably the kind of thing you toss on a watch list and, and check check back on here and there. But no, probably not going to be another super steady one. But like some. Uh, so if we go back to that keeper, right? Something with that stability, I would work extra hard to Fast. look for that extra margin. Whether it be taking that extra effort to go through the discounted gift card or shipping it to your prep center, right? That sort of stability you don't find often, right? So for that sort of scenario, if you need a couple extra dollars in profit, there's other ways you can manufacture that extra bit. All right, these are going to print, dude. Oh, the, oh, no, they're sold out. Did you see that? On, it was on Google. It was showing on Google, the all-white ones there. Damn, that's a shame. Damn, because that would have printed, man. That was 11 bucks. It's definitely out of stock here. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. but people are getting buy box higher. I would for sure be able to snag that at 28 somewhere in there. Yeah, like the trend's looking great. That's just out of stock. It's like 28 right there. Yeah, you make like five bucks a piece. Whatever, that's fine. It's out of stock, but it's the kind of thing that I figured. What do you would... do when a detail page gets del deleted? I got 50 of a hot selling item stuck at a prep center with no existing. Um, so reach out to seller support, see if they can help you. If you still have that FN SKU in the ASIN, they may be able to kind of reactivate it for you. Ultimately, that's some of the 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 annoyances of, of kind of dealing with Amazon's play um, sandbox, right? You got to have to roll with the punches and adapt and pivot. Facts, facts, facts. Oh, actually, let me write that down too. Get, I just thought of another website. Cool. Okay, sweet. All right, cool. So yeah, we got. I got like fifteen websites I want to go through with you guys tonight and tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna pass on that though, right here, Nike brand tee. Let's see. Oh, damn, bro, these are these are in stock in a bunch of sizes. We're about to clean up here. Is B stock a good place to source product? Probably not. I think that's a liquidation pallet sort of situation. No, so 
Yeah, as a but sorry to interrupt, Garrett. But as a beginner, you don't want to be looking for websites to source. You want to be looking for products to source via reverse sourcing to validate that other people are already selling that item. It's a good way to put it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Here we go. Uh, so we're paying uh we because we got that 15% off, so we're paying like 12 bucks here, 1250, right? So a couple of these are gonna make sense. That large, that 27 at 1250 looks great. Um, right there, we got the two XL, two XLs out. It's two XLs in stock here. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. Here we go, ladies and gents. Right, this is a good ski right here. Let's go fifteen, twelve seventy five, and then we FBM. Boom. Let's call it five. Probably a little bit higher. Right there, so we got a forty four percent ROI. I think it was ten percent cash back too. Life is good. All right, cool. Let's do some Converse stuff right here. Although I definitely want to look at these other uh, t shirts too, because like. These were popping listings. Like you can just see on the Google search, like that people are buying or the Amazon search, people are buying these like crazy. So it would it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and try to track these down on Amazon too, or try to track these down just reverse sourcing. Yeah, it's 20 21k rank, right? People are clearly buying this stuff. Converse is a is a is some sauce, right? Because so many people are gonna get scared away from Converse just because it has that IP issue. Yeah. Oh, true. Actually, yeah. Which uh, it's just a suspected on Selleramp. Um, I've mm -hmm. sold a bunch of it, so I don't think there's issues. Um, right here. Yeah, it's not. We don't have an Amazon listing here now. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Cool, cool. And then if you guys are liking this, let us know. Like, let us know questions. Keep those coming. Yeah, we got 101 of you guys in here on a Saturday night. That's absolutely love. We love to see you guys getting after it. We want to help you guys make all the long hours pay off and such. So any questions you guys got, please feel free to let us know. This man's yeah, here we go. 22.5. So this is about 20% ROI. Uh, How do you guys ship the products to Amazon? Uh Warner has fields of profit on YouTube as a bunch of videos. Uh, it just wouldn't be it, valuable for us you know, to kind of go over that sort of information. Yeah, just because it's kind of complicated. Or it's complicated to explain, but basically you print out little what they're called F N S K U labels, and then Amazon tells you where to ship it. You tell Amazon how many you're sending in, they tell you what bot if you can send them in the same box, what warehouse to send to. Um, shipping is also incredibly cheap too, which is very, very clutch as well. Um, so they, they make it easy for us, but it's just kind of hard to explain. Yeah. Oh, those are crazy. like, like super step-by-step -step things. It's just not a good use of time to, to broadcast around here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the key is you do need to know it. And luckily we have, like, we have good videos to help. They just like, no, aren't necessarily in terms of like this one right here. So what are we paying here? So it's uh, they only got a size large yet. So that definitely doesn't work. Um, let's look, let's look this up. Cause this guy, I've seen him on Amazon before. I think <laughs> you can just image search it too. See 22, 28, no. All right, no problem. So let's keep rolling right here. It's a JDI t-shirt. Very cool. And then we'll dig in on some Converse stuff. Yeah, 50% off almost everything. Guarantee you some stuff's good from that. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. 22, the others that ski that we really like, just do it. All red. 22.5, 22.5 into 34. Nope. That's it. Miles and Garrett making us rich. We're not making you rich. You're making yourself rich with the information yeah. we provide. There's a big yeah. and hanging out here with us, asking questions. Like you guys make this stuff a lot of fun. Twelve percent cash back's crazy, right? So let's see. Let's start out on the men's ones. Let's see. So fifty percent off select styles here. Okay. So where do we even start? Let's go. Let's just go black and white here. Let's start. Oh, whoa! Holy crap! Thirty percent off Cyber Week. Okay. Well, I feel like this is a good place to start. The super basic chucks here, right at uh sixty-five times point seven. Yes, about 45 bucks. So if these are above, you know, 90, they become good. So let's see. I feel like I should know how much those are going for on Amazon, but I don't. Chuck okay. Taylor. Okay, let's see. There's So now for a lot of these, there's probably going to be a couple Amazon listings too. So we're going to have to get a little creative. You're probably going to have to look in detail at the pictures, making sure shit's correct and everything. But <clears throat> you'll be rewarded handsomely if you do. Yeah, something like this where it's like a very, very basic product. The profit's typically going to be in like a, a weird size, right? Maybe the 14 or the 13 yeah. or something like that, where there's still some velocity going there, but it just doesn't get as much. It's not like as as mainstream, All right? right? Exactly. Something. What's the one at the top? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, 12 monochrome right here. Yeah, look at that. Standard. Yeah, men's 12 right here. So let's see. So it's 65. Right? So the, the cost is actually 100. It says private label just because it's low competition. Here, so we got 100 right there because it's uh, 83 plus 17 shipping, and now it's 65 times 0.7 right here. So that is a fat ROI with incredibly good cash back too. And you guys see how I found that by just hitting the variations and then taking a look at what was cheap down here. Now, 
Here's the thing, though. This is much looking at the keep it chart. This is a pretty slow mover um, right here, as I can see. So what I would want to do in this case is probably test very lightly across a bunch of size on this. However, we can see this size did have reviews, so we know that this does sell at certain points. Um, Listen, and honestly, something like this, if you're if you're close to or not wet, something this basic of a color, you could probably list it, and then if it sells, just go pick it up at the exactly. Outlet. And obviously, that adds a little bit of risk and such, but like that's the kind of stuff that advanced people do from time to time. Yeah. Now this one's moving a lot more. Eighty nine, right? It's currently at ninety eight. It's historically at eighty nine, right? We can see that guy at seventy two in the new price. Uh, he's just charging for shipping. That's why it's it's like guaranteed. Yeah, exactly, right there. So we're at 65 times 0.7 right here. So that's cool, right? It's a little 62% uh, ROI, even if it goes back down to 89, you're still making 20 bucks profit with good um, unit economics in terms of the profit per unit. Also really, really good cash back too. Um, so we're one for one so far. And we can see there's several sizes in just black monochrome, super basic. And then we got the all white size seven here too. Yeah, same exact deal. It's the same guy in all the buy boxes. They're like, where do you think this guy's buying stuff from? And that's a perfect example of of a site that you want to favorite store reference from time to time, because you better believe that they're probably going to be continuing to source. And so, because of that, it's gonna be it's gonna be an evergreen sort of resource that when they find products now, it automatically gets uh, put onto your radar. Yeah. So this is yeah. So we can see like uh, the and then once again, this would be a kind of thing to test lightly, but we can see it's all FBM people right here, and it's all yeah, they're all price high too. And this one guy's not getting the buy box. Let's see why he's not getting the buy box. Oh, and would you look at that though? These guys are both. Oh, so this guy actually does have free to. I wonder why this guy's not getting the buy box. That's weird. His delivery date's good too. Um, it might be rotating though. But yeah, a couple good, a uh, couple good variations there. Got a level check. Uh, check how do this. you how do you open sell up when looking at a sourcing website? You just hit the Chrome extension at the top. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and okay. It'll pop up on right the here. right hand side of the screen. I, we'd have to make sure there's movement on the keyboard charts, but purely, purely from a pricing perspective, a lot of the stuff's good here already. Let's see, so this is eight women, six men. Yeah, eight eight women, yep. Nike is so much easier to sell than Adidas, isn't it? Not necessarily. Um, you just have to account for different factors, right? Adidas has a lot of Under Armour, or not Under Armour, Amazon. Uh, so you just have to account for that in your sourcing. Rocks. Nike just probably has more competition. You have to account for that in your sourcing. Both of them, both of them are going to have to have different factors that you kind of evaluate for. Yeah, look at all that. So look at the spread on the buy boxes here. A lot of people buy boxing at like 89, yeah. 89 right there, and then some bozos buy boxing a little bit lower, right? But we can see historically, as of the past like month or so, if we go here, data buy box stats on Keepa, we can see there's a lot of people buy boxing hanging out in like the 90 range to the point where to have a sort of buy box share, you probably don't need a ton of. They get like 10 sales, make 200 bucks profit here. Like you probably don't need a ton of buy box share. So we, once again, we have more ASINs that are good right there. And that's just such a beautiful thing here, ladies and gents. Like we're cleaning up on this stuff. Let's check this other listing here too. 26 carrying. I don't know why there's so many listings for these basic trucks on Amazon, but just how it works. Navy. I mean, it's one of the most, I feel like basic shoes that exist. Like so many people wear yeah. them. Yeah. So like the demand's popping on this stuff too. Yeah. Here we go again. 82. Uh, it's just a little bit. So like, this is the kind of thing where this is clearly a price increase here. So this would be riskier. Um, some people would look at the historical during Q4 and we can see there is a lot of, there is a lot of history of profitability here. Guys at this type of price point, personally, the kind of thing I would, I would probably avoid. I'm here. However, certain more experienced or certain experienced ours would potentially get on that. We got another listing here too. We'll see if there's anything above um, the 65 range. The size is not available on Amazon, but you can purchase somewhere where Amazon lets you list. Yeah, so the, the key is you're going to want to find that ace and you're going to want to hunt it down. Sometimes the size just doesn't exist on Amazon. It's not inside the catalog, which you're kind of out of luck. But again, like we were kind of talking about it before, if you go hunt down that parent ASIN, which if you're in Kiba details or data details, it's on the left column, parent ASIN, plug that parent ASIN into Amazon add a product in Seller Central. Uh, that'll give you all the different variations that exist inside the catalog. And from there, you can identify the the sizes in the ASIN that you're looking for. Printer, 71, 71, 17 shipping, 88 right there. Boom, $24 profit, got to love it. And on Converse, you got to go higher ROI due to returns, which is not a big deal. Oh, we, oh my gosh, someone's buy box literally yesterday, earlier today at 105. Holy crap. Right there. So that's even better. So we can see we're printing money, right? We're cleaning links, right? Cleaning links. cleaning links right now 
Yeah, let's find some more of these because we can see clearly there's a bunch of listings for these. All right, let's get to it. Jack or something. Uh, please share your free Discord community server. It's probably on your bio, right? Yeah, or uh, it's it should be in the description. I can't remember, but uh, you can try it. You can go to uh, flowsformiles.gumroad.com too. It'll be on there as well. How to handle FBM returns anyway possible. If they're sellable, sell them back on Amazon. If they're not, eBay, Facebook, Poshmark, Mercari, anyway, any way possible. Look at all the wealth here. Now, these are going to be slower movers, right? But we can see these actually do sell. Look at the company <clears throat> here. They're definitely slower movers, though. But um, purely from a profitability perspective, those are popping. Um, not enough velocity for my liking. However, this is, if these listings do have reviews, so we know that they are getting sales. Let's see. Charcoal right here. Oh, yeah, these charcoal ones are popping, right? There's just not a lot of movement on these. Let's see. Now let's go here. So this is, listing's getting a little fancy. Yeah, so these are cheap. So fit, why the hell doesn't that have a buy box? That's It's $49. <laughs> Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Screw this listing. Uh, how should I approach that? What's that? Uh, what to do when the customer has sent it back, but you hadn't received anything. Um, so you'll have to open like a A to Z claim with Amazon, but they'll, they'll side with you. If you have all the documentation, you're fine. Let's see. Oh, 12 here. These are going to be popping. Yeah. 12 men's all, all blocks here, all block low tops. And that we haven't even done any storefront stocking either. Like when you find a good commerce link, it makes a ton of sense to storefront stock people on it too. See 82. Oh, this is printing. Yeah. So this is very, very, very low comp. We can also see this is totally sold out here too. This is 60 times 0.70 right there. Yes, about 82% ROI. Gotta love that. Cool. So sweet. We can clearly see there's wealth to be out on commerce, guys. Let's keep rolling here. Okay, so we want basic stuff. Basic stuff. Um, all right, these are not looking like basic things. New arrivals. All right, well, let's just reverse engineer this. Let's just search converse on here and see what Amazon's showing us. Right, so we already okay. We already looked at those. Already looked at those. Or no, those are those are different. We haven't looked at those ones. Um, whatever the heck these are, I've I've sold a bunch of these actually. Oh, yeah. Guys, these are this is a total throwback too. I like this. Um, let's see. We got the low tops. We already did the low tops. Let's see platforms right here. Let's see. Oh, we got some socks. Take a look at those as well. We've got more socks here. Let's see what we got. This would be good for the Converse on gate too, just getting it cheap here. 23 right here. Oh, that's as good of a keep graph as you'll see. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Okay. All right. Two to see, once you look at enough of these of these graphs, you it's so quick to find to notice and kind of pinpoint good keep graphs. All right, I mean, it comes within seconds. Okay, word mark. Yeah, here we go. Three pack chucks. Okay, one size. One size right here, so 15 take. Oh, oh, holy shit, this is good listing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, this is a this is best. This might be the best item we found on stream here in a long ass time. Um, so whoa, whoa, holy crap. Yeah, 15. Am I missing something, Garrett? It's black with the it's black with the white. It's a it's a three pack, right? No show socks, right? Was it is it yeah, 50% off with code, yeah. Yeah, so it's seven point five here. Now this says, here's the thing, right? Now this all, this says pretty low estimate at sales per month. However, we can see um, this item is clearly printing, considering the price has been stable here, and there's a nice normal oscillation of competition. Yeah. Here. So this is a fantastic product. <laughs> yeah, because offers are coming in, offers are going out, and the price stays, right? And so it's everyone kind of just rotating, sharing their buy box. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is even better here. <laughs> I'm going to assume the one size is six to 12, which it is looking there. So, wow. So check that out. So here we go. I mean, this is fantastic, right? Now these are going to sell a little bit slower, but they're 39 bucks. You're paying seven five right here. So this is cool. So this is a weird thing that happens with an Amazon. We can see black one size and then we can see, oh, so this is a blue color though. Okay. So it's not black. That's why it said that. I don't think they had, I don't think that blue on here. Yeah. So we're two for two here. These are fantastic items, right? And you guys see how we just searched on uh search on Amazon said, okay, uh, Amazon, what's selling well for you guys in, the, in this, in Converse's brand, right? And then it just showed us it right here. So let's see. Let's see, so we're clearly, okay, let's see what they got here. So this is black, gray, this is like tube sock vibe. Ah, BOGO excluded, man. Damn, that would have been good though. That would have been good though because it would have been like 10 and the 13 make like four bucks piece. Um, That's not good though. Let's see. I guess let's take a look if there's anything else here though because that, that one skew was good. 
Oh, Google Converse go. provide an invoice. If it's yep. receipt, order confirmation, whatever you got, they'll take it. Yep. Yeah, you're good to go. Got a whole bunch of good SKUs here. Yeah, look at this. This stuff's popping. See, Trevor knows what's up. You don't need an invoice. You just submit the receipt. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, we got I'll that. Kind of very low on those guys. Black, white, gray. Hunting Asins comes in. He says, dialed in. That's it. Well, yeah, what up? What up, Hunting Hunting Asins? Did you get the Rise and Grind merch in yet? Amazon really does not like email confirmations for me. Make sure you're submitting it as a PDF. Make sure in the comments you include the ASIN, the brand, invoicing, front gate, all that good stuff. You'll get it. Just keep resubmitting. You'll get it. Trust us. Okay. Uh, 23. Come on. Come on. Come on. Women's 13. Game time. Literally wearing the black hoodie right now. Send a pic. Put it on Twitter. Comment. Yeah, tag yeah, yeah. Pic on Twitter, Hunter. Come on. Tag Miles and I. will retweet it. Yep, yep, These Pete, are the money Pete. moves that need to happen. Zero day handle. Zero day handle. Yeah, like all you all we got we got 104 of you guys watching. I need 104 people in zero to handling time printing FBM. Probably another 500 of you guys might watch this video on replay. Like we need everyone firmly in zero to handling time printing the wealth. We're going to war, right? It's either you FBM the product or the kid who used to bully you in elementary school does. Do not <laughs> let them win. Do not let them win. Do not let them oh fuck. Okay, well it didn't. Damn, okay. Okay, we got a couple colors. <laughs> the 30, either way. I got a good feeling about these at, at 75 minus 30. Yeah, 52. Let's let's check. Okay, do not. Got zero day handling. It works. We don't make this stuff up. I, you FBM, you replenish. Then you store from stock and you find more unique angles, unique products, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. It's very simple, right? The only time you're leaving the house the next six weeks is, to t is the occasional. Uh, drop off even though you should mainly be doing pickup orders right and you're not you're not leaving zero to handling time either and obviously guys we joke around about this stuff a lot but like it's really it's like you can really really like make a ton of progress fast in your life financially just like really squeezing it during q4 like i had i had like i think it was it was like something like 12 coaching students did over 10k yesterday that had started in the past six months like they were new right like it, it's absurd like and a, a couple others did that had been going for a lot longer than some I don't even talk to anymore. Um, but yeah, okay, printer, 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 out of stock. People will buy these. 75 right here. Boom. I mean, now I don't count on those selling for 130, but like we can see like these were out of stock for a while. This is a 9K rank overall. This white one's showing up near the top. It's someone's buying those, right? Like someone's buying those. Okay, let's see. 7381. Uh, well, Amazon eventually block you from submitting an ungate if you keep submitting it. No, just close the case, open a new one, close the case, open, open new a new info. one. Yeah, new info, change up the PDF name, you'll be good to go. Ooh, Where do I get a Rise and Grind shirt? Uh, go find Pete's Flips on Twitter, and he should have a link somewhere in his bio. Yeah, or just yeah. Him. yeah it's Pete's Flips Yeah, on Twitter. Here, here's a good skew here. These were all out of stock. Oh, printer, 49. Let's get it. 49 bucks. So I bought two pairs of those Converse sneakers, size 12 and 13, as well as the Jurassic Park toys that were doing so well at 7.97. But I can't get ungated. Ooh, okay. Uh, so you need to buy 10 to ungate. Um, and just keep submitting, and it'll work. Like, hey, it's never not worked if you keep submitting. You can also hit up Amazon Seller Help on Twitter. And I know we say this a lot. It's just kind of how it is. Luckily, you only got to get approved once for each thing, so you just got to go through that process. Okay, these are these are fire, right? Look at all these out of stock. We're paying 49 bucks. They, okay, now there's nice. no box here, but like you can see, people are buying those right there. So that's cool. Yeah, man, you can list out of stock stuff, and you could actually, and this is super, super sauce. You could actually look and search and keep a product finder for out of stock listings and source those, and that's a major, major W. If you can identify out of stock variations on listings that do really, really well, and map them back to specific sites and find those in stock and source them, you could essentially establish a new market right name your price because you're going to be the only seller uh and you'll get those sales pretty quick uh, let's see these guys in stock here ah oh women's five okay yeah here we go yeah five women three men so uh we can see there's it says unknown fees because this listing's only around 77 days but this is a 15k rank someone wears that size you know this color showing up near the top there right so someone's probably buying that we right? don't have a ton of sales history but like you know as a beginner it might make sense a listing that looks similar to that to, to grab one or two, right? And obviously you're going to build out your own criteria over time. Everyone has their own risk tolerance and such, but you, you build out this stuff. So let's see. 
These are all like the 95 range, 110, 127. We've got some size creeping up here. Let's see what we can pay on this guy. These, yeah, these sell pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I, I would not edit any order confirmations at all. Anything yeah, you definitely. send to Amazon, I would not edit. No. Okay, I bet you the 50% doesn't work here. Yeah, and then it's okay, 30%. Yeah, plus plus 30% classics. Okay, so let's see, 110, so it's not good. Times 0.7. Yes, that doesn't work. 77. Uh, these catch my eye, though, for sure. Rare 50 bucks. Let's see. Lugged 2.0s here. All star Lugged 2.0 leather. Yeah, I mean, it's 25 bucks. Like, that's pretty damn cheap. 27 bucks. Yeah, here. Oh, game time. Game time. Here we go. Sales rank might be you hot. Just the right? shoes, All right. Okay, this is a discuss. Oh, these are leather though. We want leather, 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 leather. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do zero day handling time out here in Hawaii. How do I get around this issue? Ooh. I would use a prep center to do FBN. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, first of all, we just found a fantastic skew. But yeah, respect for wanting to do it from there. You're not going to be able to though. Um, yeah, you're gonna. It's just going to be unfortunately. It's going to be harder for you than other people, and that's you. You get rewarded with that tropical weather. Like, it's probably worth the trade off. Honestly. Okay. Wow. These are out of stocks. We got women's. Let's see. Uh, men's eight and a half. Women's... Michael, that's what I'm saying, man. Those are hideous looking. These are printing though, man. Twenty five bucks. <laughs> right here, these are actually printing though. Yeah, fifty bucks, twenty five bucks, right there. Yeah, you make sixty percent ROI with fat cash back. We can see we're profitable. Hundred percent, three sixty five day profitability. Gotta love it. Gotta love the game, right? Hundred percent, three sixty profitability, right there. Are we missing anything on Google on these? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> only has one offer count is an ip now because so that we we use the three kind of offer count as a threshold as a guideline right but we know the brand we trust the brand so whether it's a nike adidas uh under armor uh, converse if they have one or two offers because we trust that brand it's it's not necessarily the ip issue right the ip issue doesn't come from the amount of offers it comes from the brand right so those are not mutually uh simultaneous Let's see you missing anything here? 31, 42, 30. Ooh, 30 bucks here looks great. Right there. Got the all blacks. Let's see all blacks here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, we got some wealth. Oh, we got some wealth. Look at that. 110. And we can see, yeah, look, these used to pump back in the day. <laughs> yeah, we you see these totally move. They're 30 bucks. They're 30 bucks right there. Right here. Bang. Gotta love it. That is a fantastic lead. Welcome to Black Friday, ladies and gents. Like this is the easiest time of the year here. Like we can clean up on this stuff. Let's see. Cool. So we got 103 of you guys in here. Appreciate it. Uh, hideous shoes. What up, Jared? Dude, Jared, killing it with the pickup orders, man. That's another thing you guys got to be thinking of. Like, if you're sourcing big retailers that you have in your town, uh, city, or, like, surrounding area, like, always search the retailer and see if they have anything in stock that's profitable that you can pick up today. Get listed today. It's going to make your life so much easier. Very cool. Okay, so we've clearly proven uh, night or Converse is a W, right? Yeah, you think? Let's let's see what Nike stuff they got. Owls. Owls. Let's see. Let's go back to the basics here. Nike apparel. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, 1999. Damn. These guys in stock here? Why did I not show on Google? All right. Well, ooh, ah, in store only. Okay, so someone's gotta look up uh Someone's got to figure out where this, let's see. Let's look this up here. I go way back with Tim. Oh, here we go. So let's see. Okay. So if you're in Utah or Boise, Idaho, um, potentially a big bag here waiting on these, uh, these slides here. Pretty cool. Pick up orders then source RA when you go to pick up is a no brainer. Of course it is. Yeah. Love it. Yes, yes, yes. For sure. Right. Yeah. yeah we're, Tim, Tim lives near us. We've, I've known Tim for years. Miles has yeah, known Tim for yeah. probably a lot longer. And like four and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. But he, he lives right where we're from. Yeah. Him and I actually had the same warehouse landlord too. That's a fun fact. Okay. Let's see. What's cheap here? The crib I was at? Uh, no, 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 no. The one I was in last year, not the Delaware one. Yeah. Yeah. The one that I, that I visited. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. You remember when you'd come up and we'd, uh, we'd go to the, um, that that really good lunch place oh yes fire the buffalo they chicken nerfed, or whatever it was no, they nerfed the buffalo chick oh no the, no no that no that place is the mecca the the nice place no that, like the sandwich the chicken sandwich yeah. yeah oh yeah they nerfed that they took away the buffalo part of it oh really 
I know. Isn't that heartbreaking? We always had the same old guy serving us. Always. Oh, that's even yeah, Danny and I have had him too. Okay, let's see. All right, what can we, what is cheap here? It's looking a little expensive. Should we these guys hook it up? Let's see. Let's, let's do the, let's do the good old, let's do the good old sort lowest to highest. Bro, that has been like extraordinarily productive the past couple sources. Yeah, I don't know why, but it, it just has. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Potentially, potentially, potentially. Watch. Oh, this so this is a good point. Watching this makes me realize how much I need to pick up the pace when sourcing. Yeah, it's all about disqualifying early and just sourcing efficiently, knowing where to source, what brands to source, what are likely products that are going to be profitable. Having that sixth sense as you source is ultimately going to make your productivity, your output, your money making ability so much higher. These are these are another profitable one that's in store only though. But we can see if this is located anywhere though. Let's see. Oh, shout out the boys over at Academy here. Yeah, 14.99. 13.99 here. Boom, check that out. We can see right here. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Right? Let's see, got the got the back there. Yep. Cool. Sweet. All right. We got the four dots. Got the four dots. Boom. Love to see it. We got a couple sizes. Good too. 35, large, medium right there. That's a good skew. Right? Can't complain. Take a look at what other stuff got we got here. Oh, okay. We got a bunch of listings here potentially. Extra small, 10 bucks, white. No. Is there probably good somewhere though? Oh, ranks high on these guys. We want to pay like eight bucks. I miss anything in the chat? No. Cool, cool. There's only yeah. like two comments since I left. All right, cool. Sweet. So maybe you're the star of the show all along. Or just I here think now. everyone has known this for a while. Yeah, yeah. Not saying I was, but clearly, you know. <laughs> why. So, 20 bucks. If you're starting you need to get ungated, do you need to buy 10 of this identical item, like 10 socks, or you can mix and match? No, it has to be 10 of the same mason. 10 of the same mason, yep. Don't yep. make, don't make, don't overcomplicate a simple process. 10 of the same oh, yeah. mason. Can be super mason. cheap. Yep. In store only. These are probably good online somewhere, though, especially this time of year. see yeah 16k rank these are popping if anyone's got that in stock lo like if you if anyone's in utah these are these are printing there locally but let's see i think nike discontinued these let's see four nope 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 uh let's see 21 nope all right no problem let's see i like the look of these at 15 though right here how do you handle returns for socks if they were return used? Um, sell them on eBay, put them on your feet, do something with them, give them as Christmas gifts. Stock Either suckers. way, though, yeah, you can get you can get your money back through Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll happen from time to time. Oh, all these are damn close, man. Fifteen bucks in the twenty nine. That is damn close to being good. I don't think it's quite good though. Maybe if you're no tax, because I have tax factored in already. So maybe if you're no tax, talk about FPM. Yeah, actually, yeah. What are these? I think there's some seasonality in that too. I'm sure they pump in the summer. Yeah, let's check that. It looks like it was just starting to come up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's wealth printed here. Serious wealth printed. Holy. So that's the kind of thing where we might look like morons for not stocking up on us. I'm not a fan of that model, but like you also got to consider this is probably the cheapest these are going to be for a while as well, right? Just thinking to yourself, you know, right here. So that's a pretty good chance. That's pretty, pretty cheap there, too. Let's see. Dry fit legend tee. File probably... safe tee claim and get refunded. That's it. Flipping yeah. markets. That's Brandon, right? Yes, yes, yeah, Brendan's man, Brendan's man. All right, let's do a little Hibbit action. We got 25% off right here. 25% off, no minimum, we gotta love it, All right? Let's see what we got here. The boys over at Hibbit. Hibbit's also a great place to price match from, too. Okay, let's see. Is that still like the first level of initiation as an Amazon seller getting banned from Hibbit? Uh, Hibbit ban? Well, so now there's different levels though, right? Because I would consider the first video on Twitter where you tag everyone and because no one knows you, you get 10,000 views just because it's a pattern interrupt. I would consider that part of the initiation. Yeah, yeah. However, a lot of people d never get to that point, right? But I would consider that the initiation in terms of like the I'm pretty sure you're going to win club. I would though. I would. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Hibbit ban, um, first couple FBM orders, Nike on Gates big. 
Um, you know, so easy, you know, a bunch of, bunch of, you know, stuff like that. Oh, it looks like we got a first time listener, Melissa Miller. Miles, if you had to break down what we do in, in two minutes, give it okay. to us. Cool. All right. So most people don't know that 60% of products sold on Amazon come from third party sellers, which is either people who create their own product, buying stuff from China, that's called private label, or people who resell name brand products, which is what we're talking about, right? So there's a couple sectors of reselling name brand products. You can buy stuff in bulk, which is a little bit risky for beginners and harder to get started with. Or you can do what's called retail arbitrage, where you can go in store and get products. That's a really, really good way to do things. Or you can look on big websites and on Amazon and try to find an arbitrage between the two, which is called online arbitrage, which is what we're doing here. So for example, we know there's a Black Friday sale going on on the, web the website called Hibbit. So we're digging around the clearance section here to try and find deals. Right. So as I'm scrolling through here, I know on all these items, I have another 25% off. Right. So I'm taking a look. It's like, okay, as I go here, what could I see selling for double or more on Amazon after I get that 25% off? So like, for example, here, we're paying like 10 bucks. I feel like I could see that selling for 20 or more. Right. So we're going to reference over that, that over to Amazon and see what we can do here in terms of seeing if that comes to fruition. Right. And then once we get these products in, we order them to ourselves. Typically, we ship them off bulk to the Amazon FBA warehouse. However, this time of year, it is much quicker to fulfill the orders directly to customers because there's a lot less competition on these products. So you can just do direct to consumer and list products a lot faster, which you typically can't do other months throughout the year. Um, and then Amazon pays you out every two weeks. If you're shipping products in bulk to Amazon, you can ship them all in one box. Most of the time, Amazon tells you where to send them. Um, they tell you if you can send multiple products in the same box. And um, it's a lot of fun. There's a fun online community that we're all a part of where people meet and mastermind around the stuff because it's pretty boring to do um, and a lot pretty lonely and hard when you do it on your own. So uh, Garrett and I try to get out, spread the word online so we can meet cool people to do this stuff with and, and make friends with. Um, I don't know. We have 150 podcast episodes where we talk about this stuff all day and it's, uh, it's a good thing. That was as good of an explanation as you could have done. Cool, cool, sweet. So he, that's what's up right there. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, Melissa, go through Miles' videos on YouTube, my videos on YouTube, get a Twitter account, start following all the people that follow us on Twitter. Instagram too. Yeah, like wherever you consume content, there's people talking about this stuff. And it'll be like the one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is just have more Amazon, anyone watching this, have more Amazon conversations than anyone else's, right? That's a pretty surefire way to, to get results other people aren't going to be able to get. Let's see if okay, those are not good here. <clears throat> got four bucks. New seller trying to get and get a Nike. Got this after being the at declined four times. Repeal a decision. Reply. So you want to always close the case and open a new one, right? So buy ten of something super super cheap from Nike.com. Uh, submit that invoice as a PDF to the application. Put in the comments ASIN whatever it is invoice for Ungate, and then you should be good to go. If you get yeah, declined, which you probably will, close the case, open a new one, rename the PDF something else, and keep going. Here's a good skew. Ah, oh, rank's too high on this, though. Damn, that was going to be profitable, though, from Hibbit there. Even though they don't, they say don't submit a new application, is that okay? Yes, of course. Don't they look say, at what they say. They say don't submit with the same info. Luckily, you can easily change the name of the PDF and submit with other info. 18 ounce. Damn, that looks like a good deal. 32 though, 32, nine. See, we got variations here. Seven. Damn, not, it's not quite, not quite right there. Okay. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. Nike Pro snapbacks. I don't think that's going to be good, but we can take a look here. Ooh, ooh wow, wow, okay, it's expensive. Oh yeah, here we go. Black assuming that's a that's a black, which I don't think it is. We can see though. Nope. <laughs> um how to get where to go. How to get unlimited labels from UPS. Yeah, you have to create an online account and they'll just send them to you. Yeah, yeah. So you can order, I think it's like one a month through the website, but then if you email them, they give you more too. All right, here's a banger skew. Oh, this is one of the best items we found so far today here. Oh, I have those socks. Those are so comfy. Really? Really? I, I used to wear what you wear during the Ironmans with the double sleeves. Uh, Yeah, the pro ones. They just have so much extra padding, low-key. Low-key. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. So 
Uh, typically, I wouldn't recommend buying stuff from a, I never really would, but there's only nine left of these. So someone feel free to snag the nine left of these. If you're not banned on Hibbits, 76% ROI. Um, it'll FBM even cheaper down here. Yeah, it's 80, 80% ROI FBM. Oh, um, yeah. Someone go buy these right now, please. Yeah, yeah. That, that's an absolute printer. That's if we go check back in five minutes and they're still there, I'm going to be so disappointed in the 100 people that are in this chat. That's cool. Okay, sweet, sweet. Another trick I use is to flip the PDF upside down for um, for ungate resubmit. Great success, oh, nice. right? Yeah, I like the way you're thinking. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, cool. Uh, is Jordan Products part of Nike? It's a different brand on it's Amazon. Brand, yeah, on Amazon for whatever reason. Yeah. Let's see. What else we got here that's cheap? 16 core softball. I did the free UPS labels that got to my house in two days and they sent a fat roll over 2,000 labels. Yeah, get sure. the free labels. Get the free labels. Yes. Absolutely right here. 16. Damn, they got hella stuff on stock on sale here. Holy crap. Let's see what else. Oh, oh, reverse. Do you one. aim to use gift cards for sure? I mean, it does add a layer of complexity, like a complication to your order process. It takes a little bit longer, but it's a good way to add extra margin. It's a good way to get around cancels, uh, and it's a good way to just kind of facilitate your orders uh, in an organized way. Yeah. But if you're ordering completely uh, using gift cards, you'll want to make sure you're organized, right? You'll want to make sure you identify and map order confirmation, order numbers to specific gift cards in the case that something gets canceled. You want to make sure gift cards get reimbursed with the amount that's that it should be, and then it, it happens in a timely manner. Let's see, eighteen. I like to look at some of these. Yeah, uh, eighteen, maybe fifteen. Yeah, we'll see. Like, there's a lot of the stuff. I'm not sure if it's good, but we're gonna take a look just because, like, it might be. You know, All right, team right here. Impression. Let's see. We got a couple listings right here potentially. So we got white, large, double XL. 15, absolutely not. Okay. Double XL here. Oh, hell yeah. Damn. How'd that end up being good there? Wow. Okay. 19. Yeah. 41 right there. Yeah. This is this, like these, these have sold. Yeah. We can see like they were out of stock for a while. Right. 19. Take off that. Boom. Yeah. It's like a really, really good ROI. You got a lot of downward uh, action that these can go to. I'm um, going to be fine there as well, which is pretty awesome too. Let's see. And we've got white. Double XL here. Yeah. Another listing. Absolutely not good. 25. Damn, that medium's printing there, though. It's, they got that size out of stock, though, unfortunately. But let's uh, let's see. Let's see here. Got medium here. Oh, game time. Game time. Hell yeah. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, my wealth. Okay, now let's check this out. This is an interesting keep a chart here, right? Because we can pay 15 right here. So it's 19. Take off 0.75 right there, right? So the, I mean, the ROI is off the charts here, but we can see it's it's consistently lower, right? But I mean, that's like a gorgeous keep a chart, right? Like there's a lot of opportunity, right? And that what I might consider doing here is paying for expedited shipping from Nike, right? And then cleaning up and seeing what we can do in terms of further um, on that. So paying for expedited shipping from Nike and then trying to get that listed really, really quick or like seeing if there's any other retailers like block potentially like seeing if they have this and talk locally to and such but that is a that's a good skew right there ladies and gents right and we know are we paying 15 across the board here yeah we're paying 15 across the board right they got the black ones too yeah so oh, some of these definitely pump yeah the black small here ah black yeah small. i think there's other there's other listings on, on the, for these guys too oh boom ah damn full lock is expensive though. okay let's see and then this listing too so we, we already got a couple of variations here that are good too right so let's uh let's see Yo, yeah. Miles, remember the YouTube videos when you just had hella Lego sets in the He still has them all. He still has them. You all. actually still have all of them. Yeah. That's good. That's a, that's a good flashback there. 18.97 here. Times 0.75 right there. Yeah, that's a printer, right? Look at that. And once again, like typically you would say no to stuff like this that's recently price increased, but it's FBM season, right? Like, Yeah, it's we have the luxury to buy into some of these more temporary markets because yeah. this week comes so quick. Exactly, right? We were talking about potentially paying for expedited shipping and such, right? So like we can see like there's like both of these are good here, right? And then we can check that other listing too, see if any of these are above, you know, 30 consistently here too. Yeah, black small right there, obsidian. Obsidian's out of stock though. Right there, we can see red, white small, 35, that was good, that'd be good too. Um, so we can see that, uh, you know, we can clean up and, and get some nice profit here. Ooh, oh, here we go. It's a, definitely the same person in the picture. Let's see. 
Right. What specifically gets you banned from stores? Typically buying a lot, but honestly, like very, very few sites actually ban them. Like very, very few. Like pretty much everywhere cancels are avoidable and scalable. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 okay. So it's Which only- is, used to be, I feel like it used to be such a huge, huge limiting belief, but I feel like that's kind of subsided over the time. With well, the, and people, talk about gift cards and PayPal and all this well, stuff. Well, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, and with more and more sneaker resellers migrating over to Amazon, yes. that's what's have become so much more avoidable for the, for the common man. Let's see. And then FBM, this right here, it's going to FBM for nothing. Yeah. $3. That's insane. You guys just pulled something up. I'm active on that show. I mean, it shows A, that you're doing the right things, that you're looking yeah, in the right places. Sure, yeah, right here. Buy cost 14, sell for 31. Right there, you make six bucks a piece, six eighty a piece, seven bucks. Right, good cash back too. That's not a bad ski whatsoever. Do we miss anything here either? It's just that one, that one gray, right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, thirty-four dashboards come from. Uh, oh, it's, it's two subscriptions. Keepa, you're gonna want to get Keepa, and you're gonna want to get Celeran. Both of them are under, you know, total under forty dollars per month, uh, but both are gonna be pretty required to get really going with this stuff. Yep, Keepa shows bucks. you, or go ahead. Sorry, six bucks profit right there. That's a little. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Seller amp is the the kind of the dashboard on the right that shows us all the profitability stuff pretty quickly, uh, and then Keepa is in that middle chart right there that shows the historical trending of the specific products and gives a lot of further information there as well. Yep. I want to remind you guys. So what we're doing in this video is manual and reverse sourcing. If you want to see a lot more of the Keepa product finder stuff. We talk about sometimes we pretty much save that exclusively for being in the FBA roadmap, which is a hundred bucks off uh, now through Monday, right? So just link in the description if you want that. There's a full money back guarantee. There's also a list of a lot of our favorite Black Friday sales, fifty of them to be exact. Um, they're av- available and instantly to you if you if you buy it if you want that. And there's full money back guarantee too. So we got a couple skews right there, man. So fifteen bucks. Look at that. These are all good, right? Boom, smoke great, bang, thirty five, pay fourteen. Right, smoke gray medium, bang, thirty six, pay fourteen. Life is beautiful. It's time to get after it this weekend. Like this is so fire right here. Okay, we only got a side. I bet you we're late on this listing, but I got a good feeling about these guys too. Let's see. Oh, size. So, okay. Oh right, shit. Okay. All right, size eleven here. Eighteen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Eighteen. Take off point seven five right here. Boom. Well, thirty three ball, ten bucks profit, seventy one percent ROI. Life's good, man. Oh, rock solid too. Come on now. Come on now. Right? Buy cost 13.5. It's sitting right here. 18. Take off 25%. Right? Saddle in 33 bucks. Right? $10 profit. Right? Life is good. Right here. Gotta love it. Right? Right there. Let's see. Right here, right here, right here. People we got. Damn, we got 123 guys in here on Saturday night. That's awesome. Appreciate you guys being here. Right, we're gonna keep uh, showing out, keep finding links here. We want your key for as good as possible. Where the heck did the met the kids listing go here? What's the second best time of the year to buy? It's this week, right? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and probably right before school starts. Right, we call that back to school. Yeah. So it's like that September, November ish time frame, uh, late July, where people are buying and spending a lot of stuff to get ready, spending a lot of money to get ready for school season. Facts. See, 35 bucks here. These shooting up. Ooh, stability, stability, stability bussing right here. 21, eh. Let's see, eight bucks. I mean, that's just like, that's staring me in the eye right there at eight bucks. 12 bucks here. What brand is that? Nike. Oh, what site you mean? No, is that? Oh, I didn't see the Nike. I was going to say, yeah, Nike it doesn't look like a Nike like material, though. You know, it looks a little janky to yeah. me. Yeah. It's a little bit high rank, but yeah, come on now, right? Size five, 12, like get, that's fine on the high. As long as I can see movement on the keeper here, which I can totally see movement on the keeper here, looking at that, that's fine. You know what I mean? That's absolutely fine right there. So it's not bad. Cool, 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 sweet. And we've got a couple sizes that make sense too. Yeah, so it's uh, that 14, 31, navy blues make sense at all. 26, close, eh? Right there, no problem. Cool. So we can see those look good here. Like your reversible neck warmer. Cool, cool, sweet. Ooh, uh, neck warmer. 29. 29 is expensive, man. What's up with that? It's a different item, though. 
Ooh, it's a little high rank though. Yeah, it says PL just because it's low competition. We got anything coming through in the chat here? Uh, so you guys don't care what you buy. We, so we don't necessarily not care what we buy. We care about the data, All right. So I don't necessarily care if it's a toothbrush, a baseball hat, a soccer sock. I care about the data behind the product, yeah, right? The, what that product represents in terms of the velocity, the stability, how much competition is is competing for the sales on that product. Those are sorts of the things that I'm concerned about, not necessarily what the actual product entails. All right, let's see what else we got on here. Let's see. Give me some basic items here. Basic guys. Let's see. We got, all right. Let's just do men's. Let's let's keep this easy here too. Let's see. I don't know why I didn't do this from the get go, but let's make this easier on ourselves. All right. Let's see. So we got uh eight. Wow, eighteen hundred too. Price low to high. Let's try top sellers right here. Let's do only shoes. We haven't done many shoes here. Product type. All right. Let's see. Actually, what was that hood at? Sweet. Okay, so let's see. What can we see going for double or more on the Amazon? Damn, are these drip? This type of thing you would rock, Garrett. What? Oh, heck yeah. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about comfort. I'm all about comfort. Let's just go. Let's go lowest. Let's see what's, what the cheap shoes are like. Oh, we're printing. We're printing. Size 11. Please tell me that's in stock. No, it's only 12, 13, 8. Okay. Uh, 12, 13, eight. All right. So that eight actually does work. Oh no, it doesn't. Damn. Okay. So we're, we're, damn. Okay. We're cart jacked on that out of stocks. No problem. Uh, only eight and 13. I doubt those are good. Ooh, wealth, wealth, wealth. Ah, oh, those are different. My bad. Should I be what listing products? Should I be listing products for FBM before they arrive? If they've shipped already? See, that's where it starts to get questionable. The advanced seller who's buying from trusted resources, buying from trusted sites will to gain that extra advantage within the, the buy box. But the newer seller who's maybe buying from a site that they haven't bought from probably won't. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to get fancy like that. Like it, it definitely adds a little bit of risk, but there's also a higher reward, um, just like moving stuff quicker and such. It's, it's completely up to you if you want to though. Uh, so I don't really do any shoes anymore. I used to pump them heavy, but not necessarily anymore as I've gotten more into wholesale and other sorts of things. Yeah. What are these guys going for? Let's see. Ooh, I thought Benassi Black White went extinct. Man, we used to dude, sell yeah, so all the time. So many back in the day. For sure. 20? Ooh, okay. 22. No. All right, no problem. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Damn, we're a little expensive. This is kind of underwhelming in terms of what I expected. Um, for here, these Nike Yana shoes are nice, so we can probably reverse our seats somewhere. I think if th I feel like we found those profitable before. Yeah, I've seen the kids' ones good for sure. Uh, check private chat. Cool, cool, sweet, cool. All right, see, see what other, see what other wealth we got here. Cool. Oh, 69, maybe. Oh, whoa, whoa, those light mentas, those light menta, light menta bodies. I bet you these are out of stock though. Let's see. Ah, they only got a size 11. Okay, so. Slides eleven eighty one. Yeah, cool guys. So we're gonna go for another. Uh, let's see. Yeah, another fifteen minutes or so. We'll go to the hour thirty mark. So any questions you guys got, please. Uh, you know, feel free to let us know, guys. We're around, right? We're around. We we want to help with the stuff. Men's. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like the look of forty four here, ladies and gents. Right. So Are those Giannis again? Giannis is again eighty three. Bang, game time. Oh, so we got some big size, right? Big size. Pretty much all the big sizes here. Sixty six. No. Thirty nine. No. All right. These might have hit outlets or something. 73. 88. Eight and a half. Hey, yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 45 bucks. 60 takeoff 0.75. Bang. Love to see it. Right there. Yeah, 60 takeoff, take off that. And you gotta love it, right? You gotta love the game. You gotta respect the game. Right? You just start using a pressure. How long does it usually take for your new listing to show up? Probably like a couple hours. Not no longer than a day, though. Look at that. That's beautiful. At a 45 buy cost with 12% capital from a super trusted retailer. You got to love that, right? You got to love that. Like this is, this is a Q4 type item. Like these items are disrespectfully cheap, right? Um, see if we're missing anything on these guys, but that one size was very, very good. Let's see these uh, greens. These guys are looking me in the eye too. 12, three reviews, but it's only been around for 207 days. Ooh, but ah, uh, still not good enough. Black reds though. Right here, let's see. 
black, red, 15, <laughs> 14. All right, we're, we're making progress. Making progress. Damn, this would have been good. 8.5, 93. Let's see. Uh, 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 Pern Gating, what if you cannot buy more than five of the same ace in Converse? Won't let you buy 10 of the, 10 of the same. Two, two orders of 10. Just do the socks, though. Honestly, for the ungate, though, that'll be, that'll be way easier. But yeah, two orders of five, two orders of five. Combine. And then you'd combine the pin PDF. Yeah, yeah. One at one out of the other, yeah. So we that was a W, right? Uh, we also see see what else we got. Let's see, we got anything. Let's do let's do a little dick sporting goods. Let's see right here. I just got a list of sites. We'll do some more tomorrow. But yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, so. Guys, the blueprint to scale right here, the next couple months is FBM, zero day handling time. Make sure you have a repricer on as well. Once you have 10 plus ASINs, it makes sense to start getting after it, right? The repricer affiliate links in the description too. I have a full tutorial on my channel. You should definitely check that out. Um, zero day handling time if you can. That's going to skyrocket your FBM buy box share. However, once December hits, you're not going to need zero day handling time because stuff's going to be selling quick regardless, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. You get stuff listed ASAP. You do pick up orders if you can, right? Like people are popping off left and right. When, when you have the FBM orders, once you've completed the mission or are in the mission, right? You take the pictures of the FBM orders, you tag us on Twitter, right? And then you, you go and you buy more, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. You buy, you FBM, you replenish, right? That is the playbook here. Repeat until nine to five job is unnecessary. And then <laughs> more. See these toddlers here, thirty-one. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's give these quick. I don't think there's gonna be good though. I could, I could see a, a new, a new little long stref posted up in these in, in ten years down the line. Posted up in oh, <laughs> oh, these are out of stock. Damn, bro, twenty-two. All right, well that I can get down with here. That's actually that was what that's like my parents' go-to baby shower gift is the little that was oh. the <laughs> that's like such a good idea too. See any of these guys cheat? Let's look this out. Let's see. These are probably good from summer though. A lot of these hoodies are good too. Let's look for those sweaters though, but I know those hoodies are good for a fact as well. These I, I bought a ton of these for like 30 bucks on snipes like six months ago. One of those. Oh, those ones, yeah. Yeah. 52 and nah. see 31 women's nope all right tilly's let's see what tilly's got any clearance for the boys i'm just writing down sites oh whoa 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 okay we got some wealth i think we got some wealth i think we got some wealth here ladies and gents let's see you got the beanies 41 that's a little expensive Nike Pete beanie, sportswear beanie. We'll definitely take a look at that. Uh, men's slides. Speaking of that, these Jordan Post slides are fire too. Let's see, Jordan Post slides. Jordan's a good brand. Let's see right here. You have like four, I think like 15 on Nike.com. <clears throat> Financial Gain says, Yo, Miles Source Shoe Palace. Ooh, I'll write that down. I'm going to write that down. Good call. Good we'll call. be on for we'll be we'll do a marathon tomorrow. We're gonna be on for at least two hours tomorrow at some point during the day. So make sure you're hip to the timeline. I do have a three hour car ride back to Miami, but <laughs> either today or Monday. But I, I I guarantee you it will happen. I, I I'm not sure which day, but we'll, there will be a big one tomorrow on the late night. I could feel that. Yeah, I could super be down with that. Because I'll be back. Some apparel gonna have crazy return rates. Yeah, some of it is, but you'll have data again that that backs that up as yeah, you start to get experience. With yeah, you don't get the type of cash back you get in apparel and other types of products too. Like it, it evens out as long as you're doing. And shoes are the bad one, but like a lot of like like socks will be really low. Shirts if they're men's, like certain things you'll you'll figure it out as you go though. Let's see thirty-seven twenty. Let's see boys, damn this is expensive, man. How are these not good anymore? Let's see little kids. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the gray one though. Aha, medium. Damn, that would have been good. They're just out of stock, though. Let's see if it would work, though. Let's see. Nike Sports Rubini. Ooh, okay, here we go. What are we paying here? Ah, oh, these are 29, 20. 
Let's see, they got that tan color though. Banana. Nope. All right. Let's see this hoodie. Or this hood. These look a little expensive hoodies. Yeah, those are those are profitable from other sites though. They're just a little expensive on Tilly's, it looks like. Three packs. I don't think those would be good. Kids. Sportswear club hoodie. Let's check that for sure. Oh yeah. 29 might be a little expensive there. Let's see. Women's. <laughs> Black Friday shopping sales hit an all-time high of $9.8 billion in the U.S., 7.5 year-over-year increase. Run it up. Run it up. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, run it up, man. Like, like seriously, like this shows you guys are in the right industry. Like next year, if you guys weren't printing yesterday and today, you're going to be printing, right? Because it'll be a whole year better, right? Take notes on what you're learning this Black Friday as well. Uh, your favorite sites, what deals they have going on, when FBM popped off, like FBM, I would say really, really kicked off for a lot of people like a week ago. If that wasn't you, make sure it is next year, right? Like we can all prepare the same, right? And just dial in and, and print stuff to the moon, right? FBM, right? You buy, you FBM, you replenish. Oh, look at this chart, man. Oh, yeah. Those just print, bro. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Now passing on those. Sportswear Club, please, boys, honey. Sports for ah oh, game time, game time, game time. Thirty bucks. This yeah, buddy. Good from WSS. It's been good for a while. For sure, first year building ASINs for next year. Yeah, and so as so Miles has shown this, but like start making sheets, right? Seasonal sheets of of things that yep check from future. Maybe stuff that's starting to pop off for Q four, like winter items, sweatshirts, sweat or uh, winter hats beanies that sort of thing right take notes of all these things so now next year you're proactively able to source you have a starting point point of things that are you know for a fact are going to pick up in demand pick up in price so you can start there right and take a note of the sellers who are selling all these interesting things the winter hats right the 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 snow pants all the all the winter related things maybe basketball stuff all the sweatpants sweatshirts all that sort of stuff take notes of who's selling this stuff so that next year you can again reference these sorts of things and 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 take so much more action. It'd be so much easier if they like told us which ones were which prices. But regardless, let's keep it rolling here. Let's see. Let's go to men. What to do if sites won't let you add ten of them? Item there is there a workaround? So you don't necessarily have to. So sometimes sites have different restrictions for different sorts of products. So try a bunch of different stuff. But also you don't have to go to that specific site. Right, so obviously you can go to Nike.com, but you can also go to Colts. You can go to Foot Locker. You can go to Dick Sporting Goods. You can go to any specific site that has that particular brand. Let's see, thirteen. Ooh, damn. Those, these... Yeah, those. If those are like a fifteen, eighteen dollar, those might be good, especially yeah. super light to ship. Facts. Yeah, thirteen. What are the details of an order then? Uh, it would all document after placing an order from a retail site such as purchase. Yeah, so it's 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 really important if you're using a gift card or a discounted gift card to document what order number that is, what amount that order number was for, and ultimately that gift card or gift cards that that order is connected to, right? Because worst comes to worst, right? If that order gets refunded, you want to know exactly what gift cards were used for that order, how much should be going to each of those gift cards, so you can really efficiently make sure all the money comes back to you as it should in an efficient manner, right? You don't want to have to go hunting for what gift card number matches up to what order and make sure that the gift cards get refunded of the same amount. It's a headache if you're not organized in that way. But for the people who are organized, you can add 5 3 10% extra margin on all of your products just by using those gift cards. Damn, so this is profitable. And that some of these other sides are out of stock, but this is a damn good see if you can find these in stock. Yeah, oh, big time. Please tell me it's in stock. Oh, okay. Do okay. sell well during winter at all? So some of them may, right? But it's yeah, all yeah. depending on the data. Yeah, if it sales ranks low, it does. Yeah, fact. Like fact of the universe, it does. Now, here here we go. Here, here we go, boys and girls. You want to see some OA stuff? I'll show you some OA stuff. Here we go. So these are in stock on Shields. Fuck, the size we need is not in stock. I was going to say price match it over to DSG, right? Uh, or price match from DSG to Shields. If you just look up Shields price matching right here they have a good policy right um unfortunately can't do that though um uh, because the size we need isn't in stock but i 
you guys see where I was, you know, where I was, where I was coming from, what I was thinking. But <laughs> yeah, financial gains. It's important to realize that we don't buy the products, right? We buy the data. I don't care what the product is. I'm buying the data that that product represents, right? Whether it's a t-shirt, a toothbrush, shoes, whatever the case may be, I'm buying into and investing in the data, right? The historical data, the current data, the 90-day buy box, the trending offer count, the historical average of the sales, like all those sorts of things we're buying into because that really makes or breaks the products that we're buying. Damn, that's cheap. Why is that 22 bucks? Uh, mediums in stock, that would be good though. See, not in stock though. Anywhere else here? 13, 15. Ooh, okay. Ah, out of stock. Any of those make sense though? 13. Nope. Okay. We're just a little, little, little late on those guys. No problem. Dry fit icon. What do these end up being? 19. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Any shopping? Let's see. Ah, oh, 13. I like that. Cool, cool, sweet. So yeah, guys, roadmaps linked down below if you want some more of this advanced stuff. Or so uh, like a shitload of additional advanced stuff, basically. Um, and such. Let's see large tall here. Let's see these guys in stock. Let's look this up here. Typically, these print from Nike.com. So certain size might be out of stock, though. Let's see. We've got small tall there. Small they don't have. Let's see. Small tall, medium tall on the blacks. 34. Damn, yeah. So uh, this is the kind of thing where this is like a great type of item to put on a spreadsheet and check back on in the future. Because um, we can see there's a lot, of, a lot of profit. Like a lot of these tall sizes are really, really expensive. Um, they're just not quite where we need them to be to be profitable right there which is fine you know stuff happens from time to time and such right here take a look and see if we can find a couple layups here on nike.com as well cool cool sweet okay let's see let's find a couple items let's see let's go men's here gary you with me yeah buddy i only got like two more minutes though so. yeah, yeah, yeah i know i know i know let's see you got a game on or something or what? i guess it's saturday i'm going to get some grub i haven't eaten oh, yet are you going to the donut place <laughs> uh no i think that's they stopped making those after like six or seven true i know man i know okay let's see i got better speed up here and then find a leader too let's see now oh, there's dry fit icons let's see tank top trade i'd like to look at those for sure let's see but yeah remember that was crazy though because that place is like a bar too that 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 whole yeah, concept that was know. unmatched vibes for the yeah. um march madness yeah remember remember that's when we, we met all those guys in person for the first time yeah, Nick Spizak, uh, I think Steven for the first time. Yeah, a bunch of them. Uh, Steven wasn't there. Steven was in Boca. Size large here. Boom, game time. Ooh, out of stock, though. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Damn, that would have been good, though, man. That was in stock. 16, take off that right there. It becomes 12. Or my bad, 19. Take off that right there. You make like six bucks a piece. Um, we can see if there's anything good here, though. Miles, why are they, why, why they be using you for the model for that shirt, bro? Low key. Low key, yeah. <laughs> 30. Oh, here we go. Game time. 22.5 into 42. Gotta love it. Right here. 30. Take off 0.75. 44. Makes seven bucks a piece. Super low competition, too. Very, very light type of product. And once again, too, this is like a Q4 specific type of lead. Typically, you wouldn't want to buy something that wasn't consistently profitable like this. However, when we're talking about hopping in this buy box in just a couple of days, maybe paying for expedited shipping, a lot of products become a lot less risky. There's obviously a chance that it goes back down. However, we're talking about pickup orders, potentially getting this item in stock, you know, same day and such, maybe see if this is on a different website. Obviously, Nike.com, you can't really do pickup orders on, but other stuff, there's going to be a lot of opportunity like that um, as, uh, as well, just as, uh, you know, the, the season develops here, right? Like pickup orders really, really can be life-changing for stuff. Like getting stuff in hand, same day, Kohl's is really good at pickup orders. Dicks, Hibbit, uh, Academy, if you got there nearby, Walmart, right, where you can pick stuff up same day, get stuff listed same day, and eliminate so much competition as well um, on that. So we appreciate you guys watching this for sure. Thanks for watching the sourcing video, guys. If you guys got any questions, let me know down below. Check out the free course and check out that favorite map if you're interested while it's on discount.